Oh, what's going on guys? Quarter to ten in the morning. I'm up. Don't have to be up for another three hours. But I'm up because let me tell you. Remember yesterday when I talked about my throat being raspy? Well, what woke me up is the reason why. Not sure how many people know this about Ontario right now. But it's currently on fire. I shit you not. It smells like a freaking campfire out there right now. It is so bad. Hmm. Oreo's just standing there. Just stretching. Not Hey, go potty. Oreo, what are you looking for? He's probably all flabbergasted by the smell of smoke out there because holy crap It honestly smells like one hell of a campfire out there right now. It's It's freaking amazing and by amazing. I mean annoying. I do like the campfire smell. I, I will agree But not when it's a massive fire and he's pooping right at the friggin end, like right where I walk the, the lawn's fine but idiot face has to poop there. Friggin' dogs, man. Friggin' dogs. It's little dogs, too. Little dogs are just stupid. Whatever. He's old. He's senile. Let him shit where he wants, right? But, uh, yeah. So, when all I smelled this morning was the smell of smoke, I was like, I hope my house isn't on fire. So I came downstairs, took a piss, Checked everything out. Man, he's really rocking that grumpy. But I took a piss, checked everything out. Everything's fine. Okay, it's just the rest of the planet that's currently on fire. Mm, whatever. Uh, I just hope the firefighters are keeping her safe and uh, getting the job did. Because let me tell you, they got their work cut out for them. Holy shit, do they ever. Man, he is still out there just ripping arse. Just ripping arse. I gotta do so much as he's gonna tangle up in it and get stuck. Like, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Speak. He doesn't want to speak. Okay, better let him in for gets mad. So, I actually did something a little crazy last night, guys. I'm not really crazy. I was kind of bored and decided to uh, fire up my year one playlist for the Vlogging Life channel of me doing these vlogs. Well, not these vlogs. Back when I used to daily vlog. But uh, I digress. I watched so many of those and I was like, where the heck did that guy go? <laughs> you know, like I used to just talk to this C second, well, not this camera, but back then it was the Kodak ZX3 but I would talk to that thing and I would only upload like 9 to, to 13 minute videos because I didn't have the ability to make them longer and that's back when YouTube 15 minutes watch the video be longer you know it was a good time back then then I just kind of lost interest but like I was watching and I was like you know things were a lot easier back then go to work come home have dinner hang out things are pretty easy now but there were those three. Eh, I'm going to call them the, the two years of hell. Yeah, the two years of hell. 2016, 2017 were brutal. Wasn't a fan of those years. 2015 could kind of be in there too because that's when we were getting laid off. But Bell wouldn't give us any information on it until the day happened. And they're like, yeah, you guys got like till Friday. After Friday, you're done. Like give us the last minute to let us go sons of bitches but uh it is what it is so yeah watch the old vlogs it was uh quite an experience bringing back memories of things that would that happen that feel like they were just yesterday but then you realize that they were actually like almost nine years ago so that's pretty cool i guess uh, i don't know it was uh definitely an interesting shindig but anyway guys i made myself a fat coffee or a bulletproof coffee i'm gonna drive this down the hatch I might go put in a workout once uh, everything settles and then have a shower we got to work today from 3 to 11 so I've got to leave the house at about 2 30 I got plenty of time like I said I'm not supposed to be awake for another couple hours but I woke up this morning at 7 to the smell of the planet burning and couldn't get back to bed even though I just yawned so forget it we'll just caffeinate and get through this shift Weekend is here. Time for some beer. Let's have at her, boys. So I decided to pull up the forest fire map of Ontario. And basically, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that all you can do? Come on, camera, focus. Can you focus more? Or is that your limitations? That's your limitations. Okay, good to know. Anyway, 
so as you can see up north she's burning pretty good and we are located right here this is my cities right around here so the fires that we're smelling right now are these ones out oh shit i wasn't even in focus there's like this one here and these ones all up here right now the wind's coming in from the north so we're probably getting these fires and they're pretty close to home it's not really that far like tomogamy which is right there is am i even in jesus murphy gotta i gotta learn how the camera sorry i'm being stupid um okay so there we go so i'm pointing at tomogamy now and north bay is like right there so to get to there you take the north highway and literally guys it's maybe maybe an hour tops not even 45 minutes and you're in tomogamy by car so these fires are 45 minutes freaking away <laughs> like it's not a good time um they've evacuated a bunch of the people from tomogamy which is a rat yeah really good place to go fishing if it wasn't on fire but uh all in all this really sucks and i'm hoping they can get we need some rain i'm hoping we get some rain they've been calling for rain in the freaking weather for the past little bit and we have yet to see any it kind of sucks the other night uh i'm at work on uh tuesday or wednesday one of those days and the uh smoke from the perry sound fire was coming into north bay and jesus murphy it was so thick outside like i thought it was a fog but all you could taste was campfire and like you know when you, you know when you go to a campfire or a bonfire or something and you're sitting around the fire and all of a sudden the wind changes and you get that dollop of smoke because i spent my 45 minute lunch break outside doing steps for this stupid thing trying to get my step count up to 10k per day i'm breathing all this piss in and let me tell you it did a toll on my throat it reminds me of back in the day when i used to hack dart like my throat is sore and raw right now and i don't even smoke anymore like that's what i was talking about on the video i made yesterday when i got this camera pretty ridiculous like we got to get this forest fire shit under control mother nature needs to step up her game and give the firefighter and assist and drop some freaking water on the uh on the province before she burns herself to the ground like there's a lot of good trees out there getting annihilated probably a lot of good wildlife out there getting annihilated like you guys probably heard heard about that one firefighters were doing a controlled burn just to practice putting out a fire and they forgot to check the area and they kind of set fire to a bunny hole and a bunny rabbit came flying out of the hole on fire and just trekked fire all the way through the woods which caused a big problem for them so they uh got to put a little bit more than their skills to work to try and put that one out but like you can imagine i showed you how much fire is going on in ontario now you can imagine um the wildlife's probably not digging it i sure as hell am not so it's not even my home burning down right now it's their home burning down pretty brutal pretty brutal indeed hey my cat this thing this thing right here, sleeping, being enveloped by the box. This thing is the biggest chicken shit I've ever met in my life. Okay, the one day there was a bee in her food dish. She comes upstairs and makes the biggest commotion to get my attention to come and take the bee out because she was as scared of it. I scared of a bee. If it wasn't for Oreo in the house, half the friggin' things that get in here... Oh, I farted. Probably wouldn't get dealt with. Like right now, she wants to go up there and eat that housefly. But she probably won't. She's making the noises. You gonna go up there? Eh? Hey, you gonna go up there, stupid? Man, I gotta vacuum up here. Holy crap, Oreo explode. What? She comes right up and starts licking the camera. Oh, you're a freaking weirdo. Look at this tail. Look at this tail. Oh, the mouse. The mouse. You want some more pets? Oh, you good girl. Too bad you're such a little wimp. You're scared of everything. But yeah, I gotta get my vacuum out and do these stairs. But not today, maybe tomorrow. Jesus, Murphy, you're shedding like a little shithead. 
Oh, you just want some loves. Yes, you do. Who's a go all girl? Who's a go all girl? Sniff, sniff. You're gonna bite me, are you? Little shithead. Anyway, I'm gonna do a bout of high intensity interval training. You little shithead. He was sleeping on the couch. You little shithead. You know you're not supposed to be up on the furnitures. Ah, you're old, you'll do whatever the hell you want, right? Yeah, I thought so. Anyway, it's time for me to jump on the old exercise bike, rock some H-double-I-T, have a shower, probably gonna make myself an egg afterwards, and then it's work time. All right, guys, well, I'm uh, done working out, had a shower, got changed. Now I'm gonna make something to eat, and I'm thinking eggs. Sure beats whipping them with a fork. So according to my Fitbit app, I only got like maybe four hours of sleep last night, so. But surprisingly enough, I'm not feeling very tired now. Now maybe when I get into the office with the piss poor air quality in there, I'm probably gonna want a nap. But uh, as of right now, I feel pretty damn good. Uh, I always find that when you don't get enough sleep, pumping a quick workout in there, recently since I started working out, seems to give you a bit more jam throughout the day. Probably the fact that your body gets loaded with endorphins or some nonsense. What also helps is something good to eat. Food. Food is good. It gives you some jam. Some tenacity. Like this thing is going to be fantastic. Am I covering the mic? Son of a bitch. Made myself another fat coffee. Oh, and I got bacon going in there. And there we go. Breakfast of champions. Big ass dirty egg and some bacon. Jiggy boo boos. Got my lunch all packed up. Yay, yay. Thermos. Thermos. I'm just gonna put on my shoes, wait for Oreo to come back inside, and then it's onward to work. Okay. Let's see how well this thing does on a time lapse drive. Let's uh, pitter patter. Wasn't sure if a shot like this was going to be possible tonight because the amount of smoke in town. It's the moon. Anyway, people, I'm home from work now. As you could tell from the vigia of the driving back in the dock. Let me tell you one thing, boys. I'm never working that shift again. Well, I'm going to work it, but on my own team. Not on that other team because let me tell you, those guys suck. Well, not those guys, just the one guy from the team, because it was one guy from the team, and another guy from another team, it was just brutal. Just brutal. Just... <sighs> like, don't you just love working with a team, where they literally just sit there and wait for you to do all the hard stuff, so they can have an easy life, an easy night? Well, apparently it's like that with these guys all the time, because the one guy on that team is from our office, the other two are from down south, and he bitches and moans about these guys all the time. And I got to feel it firsthand tonight, and I was like, wow, these guys are idiots. So, well, just the one guy's an idiot. The other guy I worked with from another team. See, it's like that entire team didn't want to work. The third guy we were working with tonight was trying to get the weekend off, too, and couldn't find anybody to cover for him. Well, I'm sorry to say, but, you know, after working on, the, on that team, I've decided that I'm not covering any more shifts for any of those guys either because they suck. Like, it's, that's the end of it. They just, they suck. I hate working on teams where they're lazy and they don't do their fair share of anything. You know, I had that problem at Ontario. I had that problem at the call center. And I had that problem at the vape shop. So it's like, how come people don't have freaking work ethics anymore? So because of this, it's like, whatever. At least on my team, my team's awesome. My team gives her like, we we dominate. We are known as numer Team Numero Uno. People love being on our team. When it's me and my colleague in North Bay that are uh, together and somebody fills in for the guy down south, 
they love it because they know shit's going to get done and any question they ask they're going to get an answer and it's going to be right because we pretty much we pretty much know that job now it's freaking awesome ah oh, glad that's over with now i got two days off I'm back at the grind next week for five days on which isn't too bad because at least i'm with my own team and like i said my team can perform unlike those bunch of cucks all right guys well i just spent my whole night searching for that monopod i can't find the damn thing i have no idea where it is did i just find it no that's my old tripod with no head on it son of a bitch uh, I, I don't know where i put it but i get sidetracked while i'm cleaning right like i'm sitting here and I'm, I'm cleaning up my desk and there's still a bunch of shit on it like a bunch of change and uh, pop cap and gopro screws and gopro accessories and just a bunch of like a uh, what are you? Oh, you're an old coil. Garbage. But uh, I've just been cleaning up and stuff, and then all of a sudden, another old coil. See, I'm getting sidetracked again. Um, I come across this. You notice that it's red? You guys remember when this broke? I couldn't charge it. It wouldn't take a charge. Well, what I ended up doing was I used these pinchy little bastards because they're really uh, thin on the ends, and I peeled all the grass. Because that thing there was used in a whippersnipper video. I, I attached it to the weed whacker. Not a smart move. And I wasn't using the waterproof housing. I was using the open skeleton back. And grass got into everything. Like, um, I'm just going to disconnect from the power here. Like, it's in rough shape. It's in very rough shape, this thing. This, this GoPro's pretty hurt in here, I'll show you. Like, up here, it's all coming apart. The actual GoPro has a bow to it. There's still grass residue all over the damn thing. I gotta clean it. Back window's pretty filthy. Don't know what kind of accessory I can put in there, but whatever. And that's the port there that I fixed, the one on the bottom. So all in all, it should theoretically turn on. And we have battery life. So the Hero 4 works again. Only that special. So that means I now have a GoPro Hero 1, a GoPro Hero 2 with the expansion battery pack that gives it a little bit more runtime. That's the one that I use with my motocross helmet because it's got the built in mic, um, or it's got the actual microphone port. And putting that battery on it, like uh, this is the battery pack here, putting this on the back of it, it's basically having two batteries in the GoPro and it goes forever. And like I said, having that microphone jack makes it great for, you know, doing voiceovers on the fly. So you can hear me breathing to death and dying while I'm trying to keep the bike upright or whatever I'm doing. So that's pretty cool. I do say so myself. And then I, now i got this GoPro Hero 4 that, yeah, maybe I'll attach it to the dog and let him run around. Once I get him a haircut. If I can find someone to cut his hair. But I'm still on the hunt for my freaking monopod i bought i have two of them i bought one because i lost one and then i found it no way no way no way no way all right i questioned if it would be back here this is the gaming uh computer but i have uh this battery keyboard here and these are ear pads for my my headphones i questioned if i left it back here and here from uh, time a little while ago when I did a, a voice chat with Tommy. You know what guys? I think it's about damn time that I completely overhaul this room. This weekend, I think it's gonna be uh, let's clean up the freaking computer lab because uh, you know what? There's dust everywhere. It's pretty gross. And I got beer cans everywhere too. Freaking, that's like two weeks worth of beer cans over there. Freaking horrible. With a capital whore. So that's what I'm thinking about doing is um, making this weekend a cleanup run because I'd like to do something with this desk I'd like to move it or something basically a lot of my friends are into that VR shit and I tried that VR shit that VR shit's pretty fun I just don't have room for the VR shit now you're probably thinking well Adam you got all downstairs like your living room's massive you don't even use half of it the problem's not using that room the problem is the dog he doesn't give you any space. He doesn't, he's stupid. Like, he'll stand in your way and you step all over him. And then he yelps and he doesn't understand. Like, like he doesn't know how to, like, frig off and go be a dog. So, like, he's kind of dumb. 
and you tell him to go away and he just takes like two steps and lays down like he's still in the way and he knows he's in the way and you step on him you hurt him and then he's just like oh man what you happen so I like to do it up here where I can keep him out so he doesn't get hurt when I can't see him and stomp around now apparently VR helmets do have stuff in place to prevent said stepping on the pets but when the motion cameras outside can't see my black dog at night how do I expect a, a freaking camera strapped to my head to do it right and again VR helmets are a little bit more expensive than 10 bucks a friggin light oh where the hell is that friggin selfie pod it's driving me nuts guys it's actually physically mentally and other things driving me nuts like how, how do you lose this like uh, I don't know I'm gonna keep hunting I'm gonna keep hunting but I fixed my GoPro so that's cool well guys, took me a little bit of effort, but I found it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bolt this on. Wow, that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna need to tighten this up or how the hell's gonna break loose and the camera's gonna flop around like a flounder. There we go. But uh, yeah, selfie stick. Get a little bit more distance, a little bit of a wider angle. Now you can really see the disaster of a room. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to, uh, like I said, I'd like to do something with that desk back there. I was thinking about um, maybe instead of having it sitting in the middle of the room, like, like it literally takes up a whole bunch of the middle of the room, right? That's prime real estate. I said about putting it back the way it was back in, like, I think it was the first year, uh, the girlfriend, when we broke up, um, so the ex, we'll call her, because that's what I probably should have called her. Anyway, put it back that way, which was L pattern against the wall. And that way there, it would open up the entire floor. Mind you, I would have my back to the door when I'm gaming and that kind of, I don't like that, but uh, that's a thought. Or the other thought is, is just put the gaming computer right where I'm sitting now and move the XPS, the frig out of here and put it in the, uh, and put it somewhere else. I don't really need two computers to do the job. Like I need a video editing computer, which the gaming rig can do fine. And I need a gaming computer, which the gaming rig was designed to do. So that's the other option is, but then, you know, I got all these freaking monitors back there set up in a triple array display. So that's kind of upsetting. I kind of want to put that to work. Hell, I got a monitor sitting over here on the desk. That's doing nothing. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Actually, theoretically too, because the second Samsung is not even hooked up. Yeah, I should really, uh, really think that one through. Maybe come up with an idea on how I can utilize uh, the station a little better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's all thoughts in my head. Because it'd be nice to open up the floor to get a little VR setup going up here because uh, VR is pretty cool. And it's pretty interesting. A lot of cool games out for it. They got this game out called, uh, oh crap. Can't remember now, but it's basically PUBG and VR. So if you want to go prone, you physically got to lay your ass on the ground of your house. If you want to crouch, you crouch. When you're shooting, you're holding a fake gun in your hands and you can actually run up to somebody and grab their gun out of their hand, load it and shoot them with it. Or if it's already loaded, just grab it, aim it and shoot it. You can also walk up to people and punch the ever-loving shit out of them too. So that's kind of neat. But I would say today's mission was success. Got the monopod I've been looking for. And boys, this thing goes way out there. Okay, let me get a better angle here. So like I can hold her way out there and be like, sup, how are you now? Welcome to the way out there shot, you know? Look at look at the mess, look at the disaster. Look at the lack of tenacity. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But I don't really want to hold it that far out. I just, you know, I want to frame my face and get a little bit of the backdrop in there. Maybe I should set this camera up so it blurs out the background, eh? You ever seen that effect? Let's see how that works. Um, did I miss a memo? Where is personal messages? Did YouTube scrap that? Oh, I must have missed a memo. Frig sakes. You know, it's like every time I log into YouTube and look at the personal uh, messages, there's always some random Chinese company wanting to friggin' give me shit to review. And this shirt is filthy. That's what happens when you crawl around on the floor trying to find a freaking monopod. But, uh, yeah, they always want to 
give me some random bullshit to review on ScrewTube, but it's like, it's garbage. So I'm just gonna be like, don't buy this, it's shit. Because 99.7% of the time, that's what you get from companies that, you know, these cheap as piss friggin' products. Hey, it is what it is, right? So I just wanted to see who's gonna offer up this time, Banggood or do a stream or I had this company that wanted to send me an Android stereo to put in the truck. I'm like, I got a Ford F-150. They're like, okay, we'll send you the adapter plate. Do you want to put our stereo in your truck? And I'm thinking, no, no, I, I really don't. I, I just, I really don't because chances are your stereo is going to cause my truck to burst into flames because it's probably like electrical tapes together. And I like my stereo in my truck right now because it works. But anyway, people, I'm happy I found my monopod. I was going to actually order one off of friggin' Amazon. They had a nice one that the base turns into a um, uh, tripod so you can just stick it on the counter. And like when I'm doing my cooking videos and I aim the camera at whatever I'm doing, that'd be awesome. But tomorrow I got my work cut out for me again because... I need to clean up my counter and do my dishes, mainly because I got all, I had all these dishes upstairs that I didn't even realize were there until I brought them down. So coffee cups and junk, and I got this box to break down, that box to break down, and whenever the hell recycling day is, I got all these boxes here to put at the side of the road. Yeah, that's a mess, but it's just cardboard, so who really cares, right? So. That's going to be my battle plan probably for this weekend because it's supposed to rain. Here's hoping it freaking rains. We need rain. You should smell it upstairs right now. It smells like a damn campfire. I'm going to have a hell of a time sleeping tonight because I'm going to wake up to that burning smell and think the freaking house is on fire again. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but it probably won't be, but you never know. Scampers does like to chew some high voltage wires and it is just a matter of time before she finds the good one and explodes and... You know how that's going to play out, because flaming kitty running around crazy, setting everything else she touches on fire. Kind of like the bunny rabbit story. But anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down here. Um, it's about... That can't be right. Shit, that's right. Stove says quarter after four. It's quarter after four. Fitbit says quarter after four. I need to get this edited, and I'm going to bed. So on that note, people, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Don't bother sending me a personal message ever again because it looks like YouTube scrapped that technology. That's the way she goes, right? The way she goes. And until next time, guys, peace the frig out.